Hello, everybody. My name is John Gerwin, and I'm a bird nerd. And one of my favorite birds is the yellow-bellied sapsucker. It's a bird that I've had a chance to study. Now, most woodpeckers drill into dead wood for insects. And you've probably heard one trying to do that in your neighborhood. But not the sap suckers. They drill into live wood to get the sap. You could say they have a sweet beak. They love the sap that's found in sugar maples and black birch trees. In fact, so do we humans. Sap from those trees is used by us to make things like maple syrup and other beverages. If you look around your neighborhood at tree trunks, you may find evidence of a sap sucker. For example, if you see a tree trunk with holes like this, this is evidence of a sap sucker. Contrary to their name, sap suckers don't really suck sap. They have a special tongue that helps them to lick the sap. It looks a bit like this bottle brush where the tongue has a lot of bristles on the end of it. It gives it more surface area, which helps it to get more sap per lick. For my research on sap suckers, tracking individual birds was really important. We caught birds in the wild and then gently attached multicolored rings to their feet in a unique combination for each bird. That way, if we saw that bird again, we knew exactly who it was and where we'd seen it before. Here's a model of a male sapsucker, and I've put some of those multicolored rings on his feet so you can see what I mean. We also wanted to learn more about how sapsuckers nest. We knew very little about this species in North Carolina when we started. So, for example, how many eggs do they lay and how many baby birds survive. Well, we were working in the mountains of North Carolina and climbing trees up there seemed a little too risky. So instead, we used a little camera that sits on the top of a pole that we could extend all the way up to 55 feet. And then insert that camera into the cavity and see what was going on inside. So what did we learn from our studies? The young sapsuckers would leave the nest about a month after they hatched. And then they would hang around for another month with their parents while they learned some life skills. They also defended their nest trees and their sap trees, not so much a territory, but specific trees. And then an interesting thing we found is that although the females usually laid six eggs, only four baby sap suckers would leave the nest. And we still don't know why that is, or quite how that happens. So that's just another natural history mystery for someone like you to explore and maybe solve that riddle. So I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about one of my favorite birds, the yellow-bellied sapsucker. You too can study animals like a biologist and you can earn your very own woodpecker badge. Please visit ecoexplore.net to learn more about it. Remember, have fun out there, enjoy some maple syrup, and keep exploring. I don't mind sharing a little bit with these guys.